Okay, the next question comes from Cabrini, and the question is as follows. Given the difficulty of creating a huge lifestyle change while having minimal resources, are there any ways to balance the traditional roles of women while being able to help gain equality in agriculture, food security, education, income, etc.? Um, so, essentially, I think the question is, are there, you know, we can't change everything. So, are there ways to, um, to help kind of improve equality in our different areas of program? And here in Zambia, I can speak for the fact that um, on CRS as a whole, our, our experience has been that when, when we can help community members um, open up a dialogue about gender roles and um, explore and realize and look at the fact that um, when there is gender inequity, it negatively uh, impacts the household's food and economic security. And what our experience has shown is that when people start to realize that, they start to be willing to make some changes uh, because they realize that it's having a negative impact on their whole family and on their income and on their well-being in general. Um, and so there are a number of things that we at CRS try to do and are looking to do here in Zambia uh, to help women gain that equality. Um, and again, in small ways. Um, not trying to, you know, turn the world upside down. But um, one of the ways is promoting increased household decision-making. Um, there was a recent program here in Zambia uh, that was implemented by a, a different organization, but that a number of us have learned from. And that um, had, um, had a lot of success in what's called the household approach. And that essentially means engaging the entire household in the project, so not just one person, um, and then really promoting kind of shared decision making about the projects. For example, if they were going to be looking at how to increase their agricultural production, the project officers would engage the entire household in, okay, well, how do we develop a shared plan for how we're going to increase production? Once you increase production, how is the family going to develop a shared plan on how you're going to use that production? What part are you going to sell? What part are you going to eat? And that. And it actually had a tremendous impact on, um, a very positive impact on the increasing women's decision-making uh, power within the household. And so it was no longer just the man making the decision or just the father, but looking at having the whole family, even the older children, making that decision as a family unit. And so that had a lot of uh, positive impacts. And so that's one thing that we at Sierra Zambia are trying to do is promoting that increased household decision making. So really working with the family and promoting shared decision making and shared planning. Another one is... Um, helping women increase their access to income and capital. Um, and one thing that we do, and I mentioned it earlier, is the Savings and Internal Lending Communities, or SILC. And that has, has a lot of success around the world and also in Zambia in, in increasing women's access to income. Because we know when women have more income, they're going to spend it on uh, things that benefit their family and their household. And so that has had a lot of positive effects in terms of um, increasing women's access to income and resources. Another one, um, another thing that CRS Zambia looks at to, you know, increase women's equality within the different sectors is looking at their, their labor burden. And one of the projects that we're working on that I'll talk about shortly um, is, um, and is an agriculture project. And we're looking at what is women's labor burden and how can our project decrease that burden? So how can what we propose as interventions decrease that burden? Um, one of the ways that we look at doing that is promoting some uh, new agricultural technologies, what they call labor-saving technologies. Um, and so something that will actually decrease the women's burden rather than making them more busy. Um, and another um, way that we try to promote more equality within the household is um, promoting shared, um, res more shared responsibilities, um, particularly uh, productive, what they call productive responsibilities and reproductive. So productive responsibilities would be, you know, the farm labor. Largely in Zambia, it's women that work the farms. 
And so as part of our projects, we're looking to uh, promote more of a shared responsibility for productive responsibilities. Also reproductive responsibilities, which typically means child care, health care. And so engaging men as well as women in those responsibilities and in project interventions um, can kind of promote that shared uh, more of a shared responsibility between them so that men get engaged in the child care, men get engaged in bringing the child to the clinic. And um, when you do it the right way, it can, it can have a lot of uh, uh, positive benefits on uh, decreasing women's burden on kind of having to handle all of those responsibilities.